This is the view that I've come to see. Hello and welcome back to my channel. You join me at half past two in the morning at Stansted Airport and it's absolutely freezing. I just hope the weather's better in Portugal because I'm off for a city break to Lisbon. in Lisbon and it's raining <laughs> the forecast is for a bit of rain today and uh, and for the next few days as well this just isn't good I've been escaping the rain all year everywhere I've gone it's rained and I guess I can expect that here in Lisbon at the end of November because I'm out of season oh it's not good at all but I caught the, uh, the metro down here from the airport. One euro 50. Bought a Viva card. That cost me 50, 50 cents. A bit similar to the, uh, the English Oyster system. You buy these little cards and then you reload it. Uh, it's quite good. And the fare was quite reasonable. And I'm getting wet. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I'm going to put my umbrella up. I think I have to put my umbrella up. <laughs> oh, that's better. Put the umbrella up and uh, try and stay a bit dry if I can. The plan today was to walk to, uh, to my hotel, which is about two kilometres away. Uh, got off the underground here at Alam Alameda. Little district here uh, in the eastern side of the city. And where I need to be is on the western side. So the plan was to walk. I'm hoping that it's the forecast is going to clear up because I don't really want to walk two kilometres in the rain. Although that probably would make an amusing video in its own right. So, <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear! It always happens to me. It always happens to me. But just up ahead is a is a fountain. And this one looks really rather, uh, rather magnificent. Yeah, this fountain is absolutely delightful. It's actually the reason I, I got off the metro at Alameda because I wanted to come and see this statue. And it's to a man called Triton. And he was uh, the Greek god of the sea. He was the son of um, Poseidon and Aphrodite. And it's got a magnificent statue there of him on a horse. And of course, surrounded by mermaids as well. Absolutely lovely. And I suppose it's only fitting we should talk about the god of the sea when it's absolutely jacking it down with rain. Oh my goodness, I haven't got so wet since I was in Trieste a couple of years ago. And that was in the height of summer. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say a quick, quick prayer to, uh, to Triton to put an end to this, um, <laughs> to this, this, this rain. But here we go. So there's the, uh, there's the statue of, of Triton. Quite magnificent, quite magnificent. And, uh, and this magnificent fountain. But and as, as I said, the, the plan today was to walk from here down to the other end of town, which I think the city should say. And it was about, uh, about two kilometres away. And I was going to do quite a few of the outdoor things because there was quite a bit that I wanted to, uh, to look at and show you. But if this is the weather, uh, oh dear, <laughs> this is going to be a very short video, I think. <laughs> but there we go. Get a nice view of the park from up at these steps. There you go, the park from the steps. But I'm going to walk a little bit further anyway, and because uh, there's a market, covered market down here, so I plan to sort of visit there and have a walk around and see if I can find something for lunch. Uh, or certainly grab a coffee because uh, I think I'm going to need one. So let's uh, try and cross this road. 
Let's get down to the market. Most of the stalls in there were closed and the shops around the side were closed as well. Um, it's supposed to be open until about two o'clock so uh, I guess on some days they, they don't open all the stalls. It was interesting walking around having a look and it's still raining. I managed to find this rather nice little cafe. Got myself a little meat pastry. Mm. That's rather nice. I've got a cup of coffee as well. This is my breakfast. My line's off at quarter past 12 this morning, just after midnight. And I had to get to the airport. My usual route was, was blocked due to highway maintenance. So I had to take a detour, which took longer. Now I get caught in the rain. It really isn't good, but at least I'm in the dry here and uh, I'll sit out the rain for a few minutes and enjoy my uh, tasty pastry and a cup of coffee. It's at times like this, <laughs> I need a cup of coffee, especially in the rain. So uh, I'll continue my walk a little later and try and find some of the, some of the, vis the vistas, some of the viewpoints here in the city of Lisbon. There's supposed to be seven vistas which look out across the uh, across the city. But on a cloudy day like today, it's raining. Probably not going to see too much, but there's one just up ahead, so I'm going to try and find that, and then uh, then head across into the uh, into the city and up to the other side towards another of the popular vistas, the viewpoints, and uh, to my hotel. So. Uh, I'm going to try and do as much filming as I can in the rain, but I'm not holding up much hope. <laughs> it's very challenging trying to hold an umbrella and the camera as well, as I found out um, a few months ago when I was touring Bavaria. But uh, anyway, it's part of the pitfalls of travelling. So uh, I'll sit here for a few minutes and enjoy my pastry and my coffee. Well, that was a lovely little cafe. What a great little find that was. A little disappointed on the market though. I was expecting some more uh, more stalls to be opening there and selling their wares but I guess it, it's busy on some days and not on others. There was a lovely smell of, uh, of fish in there and fresh fruit and vegetables. Very pleasant indeed. And that cafe was a lovely find. €2.60. I expected the, the bill to be at least twice that. Very good value. That meat pie was rather tasty. And there were lots of, uh, lots of cakes in the window as well. Very tempted by them. But I'm here for a few days. So there's plenty of opportunity to eat tasty cakes. And a custard tarts. Pastiche de nata. And that's what they call it here. A custard tarts will do me. Portuguese seem to live on them in every little cafe seems to sell them. So I look forward to sampling a few of those over the coming days. But I'm just heading up this hill and I'm hoping at the top is one of these, uh, these nice viewpoints that's mentioned in the tourist guide. And I'm really hoping that I uh, get a nice view overlooking the city. Did it stop raining? Well, well, sort of. 
the sun's trying to break through the clouds and uh, I'm just hoping that uh, it will succeed. I think worse than being out in the rain trying to film, it really is just so difficult. Look at it puffed out. Oh dear. Let's walk up the top of this hill and try and find this viewpoint. Yeah, this is the right, right, the right road, I think, coming up uh, past the church here. Oh, it's a nice little fountain on the right hand side. CML 1870. Well, that's rather nice. I don't know who CML was. And the building up behind me is uh, 1857 on the front. That's rather nice. And a nice, uh, nice chapel as well, church. It is nice to see, uh, see chapels and things and churches. Very religious country. But this is the way up to the, uh, the vista. A nice little view on the right hand side behind the trees. So I'm hoping just a little further up here is where I want to be. And I should be able to see the other end of the city from up here as well. Another reason for coming this way and getting off the underground, the metro, at uh, Alameda. Come and look at these vistas over the city. And of course, these are the free attractions. And I'm going to try and do as many free attractions as I can over the coming days, which would be nice. There's a couple of paid attractions which I want to do. There's a nice aquarium here and a castle as well. So uh, I'm going to try and go to those. But there we go. This is the view. This is beautiful. That's yeah, absolutely delightful looking over the uh, over the city. It really is. See the airports behind me. That's where I just uh, where I've just come from. And where I'm going to go is somewhere about two kilometres directly behind me. There's another vantage point which then looks with this way and up towards the uh, the castle, which is uh, behind the uh, oh, behind the water tower and the uh, other building behind. Somewhere just down there is the castle, and you can get a really nice view of it right from the uh, from the other side. So that's where I'm going to head to, and uh, we'll see what we can discover on the way. And I know that somewhere down there is a very interesting statue to a local surgeon, and quite an interesting story there. So we'll try and find that. That's got in, that's located in some nice gardens. So we'll try and find that, and then uh, head up to the other vista, the other viewpoint and also towards my hotel, which is in that direction as well. And hopefully, <laughs> as it stopped raining, <laughs> it's gonna to continue to be rather nice and bright because nothing worse than filming in the rain. It really is, really does put a dampener on the day. No pun intended there, but yes, it's, uh, it's not nice to film in the rain and walk around in the rain because you miss so much hiding under an umbrella. So let's head off now and uh, into the town, into the city centre, and see what we can discover on the way over to the other side. part of the Arios uh, region of the city. A lot of empty shops, derelict buildings, quite a few under under renovation as well. I don't know if this is a an affluent part of the city or just a standard sort of suburb. But I've been approached twice by homeless people asking for money. And this happens in so many places, uh, which is a shame because society, modern society, should, should care for people on the streets and help them. You know, I do what I can in England to give money to homeless charities and things, but 
it's a great shame. Oh, and there's a homeless, homeless commune. Oh dear, is it? Let's turn the camera around. That's a shame. There's a beautiful uh, wall mural as well on the side of the wall. It's really rather nice. I do like street art. I do like street art. That's quite a nice piece of street art. Found a few nice pieces in, uh, in Pisa and Livorno just a few weeks ago. But that's what happens when you wander around the back streets, getting off the tourist track into the, to the workings of a, of a city. You get to see things which you wouldn't normally see. And a street art like that is uh, really rather nice. Shame about the uh, little homeless commune there. I just hope those people get some help and are not out in all weathers. There we go. But let's walk down a little further down this road. And uh, so we can discover on the way to the statue and the other vista, and ultimately to my hotel. Well, I've walked a little further into the city and I come across this delightful little bird park. Absolutely wonderful. Lots of different ducks, mallards and, and cockerels as well. And I said, Lake, this is rather nice. It's starting to rain. <laughs> I've escaped the rain until now. I'm going to get wet again. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Let's walk around through this park and take a little look and see what we can find because right at the end is the statue that I've come to look at. And this one really is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> see, these birds are in good voice, those cockerels. My goodness. I think I'm going to stop and put my umbrella up. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. <laughs> statue it stopped raining stroke of luck there but here we are this is the statue that I've come to see it's a statue of dr. Jose Tomas de Souza Martin and he was a he was a doctor renowned for his work for the poor of Lisbon born in the Alhandra in Alhandra on the, uh, the 7th of March 1843 and died there on the 18th of August 1897 and uh, Alhandra is about 30 miles up the Tegu River, so about 30 miles from, from where I am now. But since his death, he's had quite a, quite a cult following. Um, people giving thanks to him for miraculous cures. And at the base of the statue are all these, these little plaques. And it's, they're really rather interesting. Um, my Portuguese isn't, isn't brilliant. Um, what have we got there? Obrigada VLM 2007. Obrigada, thank you in Portuguese. Another one there. To, um, Dr. Susan Martins, de cafes pelo mai, mai pai. Um, uh, thanks for my father. I think that translates as. And there's, there's just loads of them. Absolutely loads of them absolutely fascinating to see. Many have got uh, photographs as well. Um, gosh, there's a, quite a few here. Find another one. 
Obrigado Imao Souza Martins uh, Pela Gracia Recebida Thank you for um, Can't translate that one I can't, Trying to use my knowledge of Italian and Spanish and of Latin and I can't translate it but no doubt somebody will and leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what's up what that, that might uh, might translate as but there's so many here that's um, I wish I had a smidgen of Portuguese I might better sort of translate a few but it's absolutely fascinating to see this it really is most just say obrigado which is thank you and then a date there's just so many of them, so many of them. Obrigado, mei bom amigo. Thank you, my, my good friend. It's just, it's just lovely, isn't it? That's just absolutely lovely to see that. I visit cemeteries around the world and also statues in the places that I visit. And I've never seen anything like this. He's, he's now a saint, I think, in, 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 uh, in Lisbon. He's made a saint. And if all, if all this is true and people have given thanks to him for, and attributed miracles to him, healing the sick from beyond the grave, that really is just, 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 just fascinating. It really is. Obrigado, Tomas, on that one there. Obrigado, gracias, concedidas. Para gracia concedida. Obrigado. Lovely, absolutely amazing. And it's worth, worth coming here just to see this. It really is. There we go. Dr. Dr. Martins, to Susan Martins. Paid for by public um, um, subscription back in 1904. Absolutely wonderful. There we go. Now let's uh, walk a little further on and try and find this viewpoint. I can get a nice view of the castle. I'm not sure which way I've got to go, so <laughs> I'll have to get out my um, trusty Google Maps and uh, make sure I'm going in the right direction. Got here so far. So I think it's just a little further on. So we're going to find Matt and then walk down to my hotel. And as the sun's come out, yeah, I give thanks to Dr. Susan Martin for the sun coming out. I'm sure he had something to do with it. I'd like to think so. Anyway, let's head on to the uh, to this vista and find the castle. to this vista and the sun is shining the sun has stayed out for the past couple of hours and it's absolutely beautiful here this is the uh, Miradoro de Sao Pedro Alcantara I think I said that right and a delightful little fountain and ahead of me well this apparently is the best view in the whole of Lisbon absolutely fantastic to see this and with the sun behind me oh i'll turn the camera around and you can have a look there we go this is the view that i've come to see castle in the background and behind me over there behind the crane is where i was a little earlier you can just make out that water tower behind the crane well, probably not on a small screen, but you can just from here. And looking down towards the harbour as well. And you can see the, um, the facade of the cathedral. Absolutely wonderful to look over this the view. The castle standing proud on the hill. And if the weather holds out for tomorrow, then that's where I'm going to go. 
If not, I'll find something else to do here in the city because there is plenty to see and do. This really is an absolutely fantastic city to see. One of my friends have said to me, because I used to live in Macau, Portuguese Macau, Alice, you must go to visit Lisbon. You will love it there. And they are right. I've loved it so far. I've loved everything I've seen, apart from the rain. <laughs> I don't like the rain, <laughs> but there we go. I've braved the elements, braved the rain, and I've made it here. So this is where I end this video. I'll leave with a few pictures overlooking the city of Lisbon. And I'll see you tomorrow for another adventure here in the city. Thanks for watching.